What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody had an awesome Halloween. I know I did. I got to throw the picture of me dressed up as uh, King Triton up in the uh, up in the Facebook. You guys can see the full effect with me and my daughter Ariel. I, I got some comments like "nice blue dress," so you know it's it's tough. You got to be uh, you got to be secure with yourself. You know what I mean? If you're rocking the the shiny blue fin, but we pulled through. We had the trident, the thing, the whole beard, the whole deal. So anyway. Uh, it's Sunday, that means the Browns are playing, they're hosting the Ravens at home. Look, the Ravens aren't the team they once were with Ray Lewis, but they still punched us in the mouth earlier in the year. I'm doing the video before I tune into that so I can bring you the enthusiasm, excitement, and just overall joy for this wonderful hobby that I have before the Browns suck that away from me. Hope they do well at home. Hope your NFL team does well at home. Folks, I gotta tell you, I'm really, really, like, beyond excited about the response and the number of orders and just like the acceptance and like love I'm getting from the Dirty Tank Guide. Um, people are just all over the world. I got, I got people in London and England. I got people in Australia. Australia people, what's up, man? Y'all are great. Uh, throwing some nice orders and some comments back on that. Really appreciate that to people in Singapore. Um, just loving the feedback on me actually sitting down, writing a Dirty Tank Guide. Uh, busting it out, you know, thinking about all the questions and all the answers and people giving me the feedback. So I really appreciate that. I do have a special going on on the bundle on how to set up a planettank.com. You'll see a link below here in just a sec. Right, right now, actually. But um, I'll put the link up in a sec. But yeah, I'm excited about it. Check it out. Give me your feedback. Uh, I'm loving having all that going on. I got a limited time bundle going on, so you are going to want to check that out. But I want to talk today about a plant that didn't make the cut, actually. Um, it's a plant that I, I've kept a while. Uh, I really like it. It's one of those plants that's like the step up from uh, like you got your basic like plants, like your sad and your jungle vial and your swords and all that. And then you're like, all right, dude, I think I got this. These plants are growing good. Let's go to the next step. Let's go to a Pongigitan Madagascaiensis right here. Yeah, I got a little cheat sheet. I'm not going to lie. Um, Madagascar lace plant for y'all, okay? Whenever I can get them in from my supplier, I do, all right? And they come in in a ball. Madagascar lace plant, guess where they're from? That's right, Madagascar. Uh, come off ball. I would like to know if anyone's ever got this plant um, to grow, grow from a ball. Like, they bought the ball. I, I could buy them like that. I don't. I just prefer to get it. Uh, it came almost flowering, but then when they get uh, shipping and all that, like, they yeah, they, when they change tanks, the flowers, no more. But I do have a flower that I am going to post of a Madagascar lace uh, flowering in my tanks that I had a while. I'll put that up on the Facebook fan page tonight so you all can check that out. Um, love them. What I think is cool about them, too, obviously the look. I mean, look at this. It's ridiculous. It's got a great... If you have, like, cherry shrimp, they look real wicked climbing around on these little holes. The holes are actually um, kind of like if you see things in a parade with, like, banners that are, have holes in them so, like, the wind can kind of blow through it. That's what the, the effect of that is. Um, really like this plant. Look, n not your average plant, all right? Alex, I'm talking to you, brother. Um, dude bought a lace plant. I was like, bro, it's not doing anything. It takes a while. These plants are sensitive. So, um, takes a while to get going in your tank. Likes a little more highlight. Loves dirt. Loves dirt. Like, I, in fact, would say I would not keep this plant without dirt. So, definitely check out the Madagascar lace plant. That's a species I wanted to talk about. I also want to talk about a species I got some beef with. Um, I got baby tears right here, Hemianthus, but I do not um, like dwarf baby tears. And people are asking me about it all the time. And here's why I don't like dwarf baby tears. Dwarf baby tears is grown above water and then sold to you all, and then you kill it and get discouraged. Everybody likes the look of it, and I'd love to know if you all are keeping dwarf baby tears. You want to send me a, a private message with the link to your video and how you're keeping it in the conditions and all that. I'd love to know because I don't keep it. Steve ain't keeping it. He got CO2, dirt, the whole bit. So. Beautiful plant, not one I recommend. Beginners, do not mess with that plant. Get the regular baby tears, and if you're gonna buy it, you might as well buy it from me. But yeah, that plant, don't mess with dwarf baby tears. Uh, I got one other thing I wanna talk about too, and that's similar to that, is the stargrass. This what happened, I had some people order some stargrass for me. This stargrass came in grown above water, which sucks. It comes in like that, all stringy, and looks like crap. So I'm showing you that, because that's how I get it, and then I have to just sit on it, because I don't wanna sell it, because it looks like crap. And I just hang out and wait for it to get better. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also hitting this tank with a little bit of special dust and fertilizers we got in the mix because I'm trying to bring you some real stuff. So I'm hitting this tank with that. Um, Ligwig is doing fine and what have you. And I also want to show you one other thing. Along that same lines of plants floating and going, this is the jungle valve. 
that I get in and it instantly melts back and I talk about this in the dirty tank guide as well and it instantly melts back so I have to sit and basically sit on this plant as well but what I got going on is I got a nice big crop of it down there for y'all so I had that going on back there and I just pluck it out of there and it's good action because that's been sitting a while just got in been sitting a while y'all get the good stuff so that's what I'm doing I'm having a lot of fun uh, welcome new subscribers again thank you thank you thank you a ton check out that tank uh, to everybody that's been giving me support on the Dirty Tank Guide, I really love it. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep rolling. Oh, the contest. One last thing. The contest um, is insane, and it's a lot of work because there's like a bajillion people that have messaged me all their stuff, and i got to like sift through it and everything. So I'm trying to get the contest results done in about two weeks. The contest entries are over. I might open it back up if I can get ahead of it right now. I'm way behind. So that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Love it. Having fun. Hope your NFL team does good. Hope you're having an awesome weekend and an even better week ahead. Tank on, people. Later.